Literally hours later, we got this. Life of Riley. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> you right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want to see water in the garden? It shouldn't take very long. It wouldn't take very long. It's not very big. Oh. It's bird in the grass. Look. Is this a garden tour? Might be. Oh. What date is it? September the... 9th. 9th? Yeah. In the evening. Sun's gone, but it's still hot. <laughs> we're not complaining. Oh. Yeah, you were. Yeah, I have had. It's, hot. <laughs> it's actually quite nice this time of night, just laying down there and chilling yeah, out. Just chilling. Yeah, and when the lights all come on, we've got lights in there, we've got lights in the ball, which is not on at the moment, the lights all over the garden. It's, it's, yeah. it's quite nice. Just yeah, relaxing. Just chilling, trying to cool down a bit. Yeah. Right? So what are you doing then? What are you doing to the garden? Tell the punters. Ooh, ripped it apart, taken loads of stuff out, cut stuff back, as you do, getting ready for autumn. Yeah. Autumn. I know. It's not nice. We haven't even been on holiday yet, have we? Not yet. Well, we did. We went in February, but we haven't had our summer holiday. We had an English holiday as well. Yeah. But we are going, aren't we? We are. We're going on a cruise. There you go then. This is a new edition. It's just a pale pink Veronica called Moody Blues Pink. Mm. Moody Blues. Moody Blues. That was the one that ended up in my eBay basket. No, I bought that from the barn across the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. And this is beginning to um, shoot back from the bottom now. I've cut it back, look. What's that then? That's a salvia. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Stay and clean this, look. <laughs> State of that. <laughs> well, we've got some colour on the hibiscus now at long last. Hibiscus, hibiscus, whatever it's called. And the eucara has flowered again. It has. It has. That's looking really healthy at the back there. Yeah, that's been moved, hasn't it? So there was something there that we ripped out. And everybody. Now, I was complaining about the roses only ever giving me one bloom at a time, wasn't I? <laughs> this plant listened. Look. Look at all this now. There's two stems there, look. So there's two on there, no, three. That's three on there. Three on there, and all these on here, so it listened. So this one has earned a reprieve, it's staying for a little while longer. <laughs> it's because we've had a week of sun. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is. I've put a hibiscus in there. No, I haven't put a hibiscus in there. I've put a hosta in there that was in a pot, and it got shredded. So I'm not going to worry about it, it'll come back to life next year. And it will like being under there, won't it? And the Japanese maple has got well scorched. It has, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it always comes back mm. next year, so we don't worry about it, do we? And the unruly bush has got completely unruly. <laughs> it probably needs a good cutting back, you know, really. It... You know, if we don't do anything to this, these two are going to mean it. <laughs> You're going to lose the shed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the shed will be gone. Yeah. There's still a hosta hiding at the back there, which is about had it, but yeah. still there. It's coming back though, that was eaten as well. Mm -hmm. And there, look, another one that's coming back. Yep. Yeah. And the heuchera there. Yeah. Don't know what, what's that then? What's that green thing? Oh. <laughs> Sistus. Right, bless you. That's white flowers on it. This looks a bit healthier now. It was, I thought it was dying. We've had that for years. Yeah, I know I have. Yeah. Well, it looks like the pot's about at it as well. Yeah, it probably <laughs> needs to be repotted. <laughs> it looks like it's got a scar. Yeah. <laughs> it needs a bit of plastic surgery. Yeah. Now that plant you bought me. Oh, blackberries. Blackberries, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that little plant you brought me, because I ripped one out that was red, you bought me a white one. 
it's not very happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a bit shady there. It likes shade. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did Google it. It's a Skimia japonica, but it's a white one. Yeah. And I did Google why it was going yellow and losing its leaves, and it said that it probably needed a little bit of um, ericaceous feed. Only a little bit, because they like slight acidity. Not a lot. So you can't plant it in ericaceous plant uh, soil. Mm. So I have fed it, and we'll just see what it does. But again, I shall leave it until next year and see what happens. And the olive tree's gone crazy. My little... Um, Cucura cuttings. No. Yeah. yeah. Still getting no fruit though. No, no. I don't think it gets enough sun, does it? It just gets morning sun and that's its lot. Yeah, I think this, this area is suffering through lack of sun yeah, and lack of water as well. We had a bit of a play last week against some of the ivy out there and some of the uh, eucalyptus. I trimmed that back a bit just to try and give that bamboo a chance. But mm. yeah, the bamboo is kind of dwarfed by this one mm. this gets all the sun the one at the back there is suffering for it mm. so i think this area probably needs a bit of a rethink i think it does yeah and the monkey puzzles i mean that was a sprig when we got it it was it was tiny um but it's yeah it's gone crazy yeah yeah, yeah. i think we do need to have a rethink about this bed. i mean this mm. really needs to be a shade bed doesn't it it does maybe it needs a few rocks as well mm, maybe it does yeah Mm, kind of yeah. like. or mulching it's, maybe so that mind you it's not that it evaporates is it it's the trees that take it yeah we've got moisture. a massive conifer just there yeah. which takes everything and then we've got trees, trees at the back here yeah. Yeah. here yeah and the bamboos are quite so, thirsty as well yeah, so. bugs, aren't they? yeah but it's very green this corner as well yeah We've got a bit of colour in the fuchsia, but that's about it. Yeah, there's fuchsia on this corner as well. But, mm. but not much okay. colour. Yeah, well this didn't flower this year, did it? Because I cut it back to ground level, if you remember. But look at the peaches. Yes, it's the biggest we've had, and the biggest crop we've had as well. So, oh, that one's just starting to turn ripe. Mm. So who knows, it might actually get some peaches for once in its whole existence. I mean, we must have had that eight, nine years. Yeah, must have done. Yeah. It's never fruited like this. No, we've had, what, three, four at a time? Yeah, but they've been rubbish. And they've been rubbish. Yeah, yeah. they've, they've not really been edible. Anyway, yeah. That we've eaten. yeah. But yeah, that didn't flower this year. I'm going to give it another chance next year, but if not, I'll replace it with the same because I do love them. I mean, it's just been a weird summer this year, hasn't it? Yep. Not had any sun. Too no. much rain. Yeah, lots of cloud. Lots of cloud. Mm. Yeah. So everything along here now has got much more room to breathe. Which is nice, I need to tidy up. Looks like the birds have been having fun look. Birds or the cat. We've got, oh, a, cat. <laughs> We've got a white cat that likes sleeping in the flower yeah. beds. Um, Decided to go in the shed today, I can't yeah. get it out. Ted usually um, sees him off. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you Ted? He? <laughs> Yeah, that needs chainsawing at the end of the season as well. Yeah, this tree, okay. it's when we moved in, it was tiny, real sprig of a thing. Um, I chop it back hard every couple of years. I think it just grows. What well, wildfire? Well, you did it last year. No, a year before it was. It wasn't last year. It was last year. Yeah, it was. Mm, yeah, no, it right. was. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you go back in the video, it's not a look. Uh, who knows? Yeah. So, this hibiscus is. Uh, Showing a bit of colour as well now. But again, I hacked it right back to the bottom. The dahlias, they're still going. Look at all the bugs. Mm, still pretty. Yeah. But this colour, the burgundy coloured ones, they're going all um, gooey. So there's something, and then I have to cut them off and they don't open fully. Mm. My one and only box ball left. We had box blight, so the others died, didn't they? I think that needs a bit of a clean as well. Yeah. Isn't it weird? It's a, it's a white powdery oh, substance. There you go. Mm. Like there seems to be a lot of white powdery substance in the atmosphere at the moment. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's it's that like Gates disease. Yeah. But uh, the coleus. <laughs> oh, that coleus. That was, it was a sprig, wasn't it? When we got and it was doing nothing for months. 
and now it's just it's taken over yeah. it's crazy it's yeah right? and we took some rubbish out of this trough here Oh yeah, the, yeah. He, the big white hebe—that's back there, isn't it? Yeah. Over there, behind the. Um, yeah, give the geraniums tree. a little bit more room to grow. Room, yeah. And calla lilies. Yeah. Hopefully come through again next year. I'm just going to have to cross my fingers. Mm. Yeah. And then the um, tired-looking corner. Yeah. Well, this never flowered, but of course it's going over now. It's nearly finished. Mm -hmm. So that's it. This never flowered either this year. Treated exactly the same as all of the others. Yeah. But this is going great, guns. Yeah, until the wind gets it and it drops all these yeah, petals. And then it does, yeah. And this has still got a few buds on it as well. And that one did, didn't it? It had bright yellow yeah. flowers. The colour lily didn't do yeah. didn't do much this year though. Only a few. That's done well. Yeah, your trough, that must be a couple of years old now. Yeah, yeah, this is its second season. Mum think it's only got two geraniums in there. But they're massive, aren't they? Mm. Beautiful, yeah. And then, yeah, this is all starting to go over, but still, yeah. it's still there. Yeah, yeah, it's still. That's my tulips, I've just planted my tulips for next year in there, so that's not getting watered at the moment. Yeah, what else? Um, Oh, my orchid geranium. It came back and it flowered, look. That was last year's. Very delicate. But it survived that awful winter we had last year. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, that's gone <laughs> mad. I just put perennials in it rather than annuals. I was fed up with changing it. <laughs> Pretty though. Yeah. These purple flowers are nice, what are they? Uh, there's some sort of aster. Aster spumante? No, not aster spumante. Aster. <laughs> oh, aster. Right. And this is some sort of salvia as well. It's like a meadow grass. Yeah, but they're perennial, so they'll disappear. Mm. But they should completely take over that basket next year. Mm -hmm. And I did pop a little hucca in there, look. And it's taken. And a hebe. <laughs> yeah, and a he well, the hebe was already there, but it was mm. tiny. Look at the size of these. Yeah, that one looks like it's got over a little yeah, bit. Yeah, well it has. <laughs> but this one and this one are new ones. They're fresh. Yeah. And what's this then? Ah, a coleus. <laughs> it is. So I, people keep saying how easy they are to grow from cuttings. So I snipped a bit off and stuck it in there. We'll see. It does look as if it's already grown a couple of new leaves in the middle because I always snip the middle out. Mm. If it takes, we'll take a few more cuttings yeah. and then we'll have loads for next year. I'll take the middle out again because it needs to be growing roots first, really. Mm. Yeah. But that's about it, really. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's the garden in September, beginning of September. There has been a little change out the front. I'll probably just b roll that at the end. Yeah, just a little bit, not mm. much. Yeah. So. Enjoy what's left of the summer. See you soon. Bye. A few moments later. Literally hours later. We got this, and we got casualties. <laughs> oh no!